Hey guys, so I'm just going to talk to you about uh, Dehancer and um, what I used to edit some of my photos from my last trip. So I hadn't heard of it before. Basically, it's a plugin that lets you apply tons of different filters to your photos. Tons to choose from like old film stocks and stuff like Fujifilm. Honestly, there's loads. So I've never used filters before. So usually my workflow is I'll import my photos into Lightroom. I do my own settings for it. I can do it super quick and then I'll save that preset to a certain set of images. So I'll get the look that I want and then I can save that preset and copy and paste it. Some of us that's how I've always worked and then basically I just um, export that into Photoshop and then I just do my final adjustments in Photoshop and then I save the image that is uh, that's why you've done it for ages so I see five million youtubers saying buy my presets and all that you can just make your own it's so easy you can't reach out to me they're like would you like to try this product and I was like mm, I've never usually used presets before but yeah let me give it a go and it just so happened that I just done a shoot in Alicante and I shot at this location with these amazing buildings and stuff which I'll show you and I was like oh this might be cool to, to try this film stock out and see what it looks like. So I wanted it like kind of a high end look, but a bit grainy, um, a bit more saturated colors. Basically I installed the app. I did that from Dehance's website. I installed the Photoshop plugin. And then when I'd pressed all those buttons and stuff on the open um, Photoshop, I went up to effects. Um, and filters and then Dehancer was at the bottom. So basically I exported my photo that I'd um, kind of happy with in Lightroom, exported into Photoshop, did my basic um, Photoshop adjustments then and then I opened up Dehancer and then it had tons of different filters on it. So I found one that I liked straight away. So I just clicked on that. It, it gave me a preview on the image. Um, had little bits up on the side uh, which I could adjust the parameters so I adjusted them slightly so I adjusted the the grit film grain and the um, saturation a bit on whatever the stock color was that I like so I made it kind of my way a little bit right super easy um, so then I was happy with that and I was like this looks sick so then I put it on to um, click OK put it onto the image and then I'll show you now. Uh, well, basically you'll see in the video what I did so basically I just uh, reduced the opacity a little bit um, increase the levels it was a little bit too dark and then I was like yeah that looks perfect it took me about two seconds so so I love that so then I applied that to all the images so I exported all those images that I liked from that set and I put them into uh, Photoshop into it and then I just applied that filter with Dehance into all those images and I loved it super quick and easy so and like so I'd done that in a sense to my clients and my clients loved it so I liked it my clients liked it and obviously all the models and that loved it as well so and it was super quick and easy it was like free clicks really to get like it looking amazing so I wasn't sure and then I was like this is actually sick I love it let's open Lightroom up so there's the images that I can see right so you can see I've edited a few here so let's just go to this one and start this from scratch so okay that's how it was shot don't like that it's not straight so right there we go it's increased the shadows i'm just going to change the profile to so the contrasts the view profile it's very contrasty but we'll get rid of that in a sec so let's move i always move the clarity and texture down shadows up contrast can go down mm, a little bit um yeah white balance seems okay Okay, a little crop, let's see. I'm only doing this super quick just to show you, but basically I'm doing my own like preset here for the rest of the images because I can just copy and paste these. So that's okay, it's very saturated. Let's turn it down a bit. Okay, it's looking okay. Okay, not bad. Um, okay, everything else okay. Okay, God, it's still not straight. Right, let's try that. Okay, so I'm kind of like, yeah, that looks okay. It's got the highlights down a bit, tiny bit of the clouds in there. So now, yeah. Okay, we're getting there. So we're only doing little adjustments. I'm not just a little bit on the curves. It's still a bit contrasty. Okay, that's looking okay. Okay. Ish. So let's say I like that. So I've done this one before. So then what I do is I do that. So then I just copy and paste that edit to like, let's say this one here. So 
I just click on that and then com command and shift and then sync. There we go. So that should make it look similar. There we go. There's that. So that's a starting point. So basically that's all I do in Lightroom is I just adjust my white balance and then just the contrast and a, few, a little bit of curve adjustments. Um, you can already see that's looking way better than when it came in. That's what I look like. There we go now. So, so basically these images that I've had in Lightroom, I've now exported them. So then I have exported them into here and then we're going to open Photoshop. So this is where we're going to be using Dehancer now. So basically I'll take this one. So in Photoshop, I've done some basic edits uh, to this one. So I've got rid of a bit of the paint in the background there and uh, got rid of a few spots on the skin and, and stuff like that. So basically I'm happy with this image. So now it's time to use Dehancer. So basically you're going to do a new layer by Command and J. Then you're going to go up to my filter and then Dehancer film. Um, so this is where it works is magic. So there's tons and tons of, um, there is loads of like, different color settings in here which I'll show you now so so there's loads so what I like is I found one that I liked and then I tweaked its settings so this is the one I like um and then I tweaked the settings so you can change all these parameters down here so I moved them around slightly not even too much I liked how it looked I think I got rid of the grain a little bit but anyway so there's tons and tons so I've saved well I haven't saved this one the good thing about it is it saves your last um last saved last edit you're working on so because i've been working on these it's saved already there but you could save it as your own preset if you wanted to so basically i'm going to use this one so i'm going to hit okay into hunter and that'll load it into photoshop so there you go that's like kind of the look that i want so it's a bit too harsh so i'm going to move it down to about 80 percent opacity okay that's looking good and then what i'll do is i'll adjust the levels of that layer so it it gives it a bit too dark for my liking. So I'll just move the layers or levels up even. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that in like three clicks or something. So let's see, that's how my kind of my image was already. Like my base image was kind of finished. And then Dehancer, I just put that plugin in it on a new layer. I adjusted the levels, adjusted the opacity down a little bit. So you can do that with like all the, um, you know, that with all the um, presets. It's got like hundreds of, uh, preset in there so you just choose one you like and then just tweak it a little bit to make it your own and then you can save it and then adjust it to the range of images so that's what I've done with this one so they can then I can just um hit save on that if I wanted to but yeah very quick and easy let's just do another one um let's see if we've got another one here uh, actually we'll export it from Lightroom so okay so let's see this one uh is it this one this one I did before. Okay, so let's go. Let's do this one. So let's open this in uh, Photoshop. So I'm, I'm not going to bother moving anything, uh, retouching anything from the floor and stuff, but I would usually get rid of these bits here and there. Um, but let's just do a new layer and then let's go to Filter and Dehancer. And then you can see you can see all the different things they've got they've got like loads in here but i like fujifilm everything so anyway i'm going for this one because this is the one that i'm using for this set of images there you go um i'm going to move the opacity down to 80 percent again 180 and i'm going to increase my levels on that layer there we go okay it's looking good okay and then let's see what it looks like so without the hunter and then the kind of high-end sort of look that i wanted and then i can save that so that's it like super easy um super easy and quick so yeah i love it um there you go um you can i don't really edit on my phone or whatever i mean i do have lightroom on my phone and find it handy on the plane or whatever i can rate my images and then it's back onto lightroom when i get home but you can edit and add these filters onto their mobile app too which is cool i mean this sounds like a sponsored post it's not a sponsored post they didn't pay me or whatever but they did send this for me to try uh which i am and they said you can say whatever you want um which is good they didn't tell me what to say so i found it very useful so you might do want it there's i'll link it in the description to to what the 
the proper website is. Um, there's also a discount code that they give me if you want it, um, but I think it works super easy and the images look sick. Um, so I'm very happy with it. Hope you like the images. Hope you like this quick video. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.